One of the more important aspects of AI agents that I think is overlooked too much is monitoring. No matter how many agents you have, it's good to know why they're successful, why they're unsuccessful, to be able to debug, log, and monitor exactly what they're doing. Crew AI just recently released a listener class. And what this is going to do is give us visibility to the AI agents. We can customize their behavior at certain points. We can integrate with external systems, and we can also automate tasks on the side during certain events. Okay, well, the first thing we wanna do is create a flow. So I'm gonna say create AI, create flow, create AI listener flow. And once you execute that on this side here, you will have the file structure and the folder structure that you need to do this. So in the flow, we have the source file, the crew, and then we're gonna create this listeners in just a minute. And we have the main Python file. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you do need to come in here under your source crew AI flow, listener flow, whatever you named your flow. You're going to create a new folder and you'll just call it listeners. Listeners. I already have that created. So then once you have that done, open it up and you're going to create a file called mycustomlistener.py. So in here, there's a lot going on and this is really what I want to explain. And I want to explain why I really believe this is important in just a few minutes. So stick around and I think it's really important to know why we're doing this. Now, briefly, I just want to mention my community because I've been helping other members teach them and create their AI services so that they can sell and make money from. So the first thing is we had these events. There are way more events that I'll go over, but these, these are just some of them. So we have events such as a crew kickoff started event, completed event, task completed event, flow started, flow finished, method execution start, and et cetera. There are so many more. But what these events do and what it means is that whenever a function is called, a crew, a crew is started, a flow is started, or we're in the middle or end of either of those things, or we have uh, something to do with knowledge or something with an LLM call, it's going to emit an event and it's going to give us a source and event object. And we can then take that information and then we can do something on the side with it. For example, whenever we start a flow here, I have a flow started event. So whenever you create a class called my custom listener, you're going to create a function called uh, setup listeners. You're going to pass in a crew AI event bus. And then what we need to do is we can create as many functions as we want for each of the events that we need for our project. So in this case, I'm saying the at decorator, query I event bus dot on, and then when the flow started event is emitted, meaning when we actually start the flow, it's going to emit an event. We're going to capture the source in the event, and it should say, we should, it should print out the event is, and then this is some object with a bunch of different print, which a bunch of different properties. And one of the properties will be the name of this event, which would be something like flow started then I can just print out the flow has started. Let's just test this out so you really understand what this, what I mean by this. When the flow has started, okay, so we started the flow execution. It says the event is, and then guess what? Right here, this right here are the properties of the event object that we are passing in. So for instance, the type is flow started, and then it prints out flow, poem flow has started. So when I say flow event dot flow name, the event's name is poem flow because that is our flow. And then if we move down a little bit, you know, the flow started with a, a with an ID. We then have another one where we have the method execution started. It says the method is the method generate sentence count has started. So let's go over to my main Python file. In the flow, this view don't touch anything at all. You'll have the exact same setup I do. So in the flow, the first function that gets started because we know by the at start decorator is called generate sentence count. So if I open up my terminal again, I had in my listener, it was looking for a method execution started. So if I come back to, if I come back to my listener, let me come up here. I have the method execution started event right here. I started a method execution, which over here, this function generate sentence count is a method function method. And then whenever that's been executed, it prints out these two statements. So it says the event is method execution started right here. Okay. And then I print out that this method generate sentence count has started. So whenever we were going through the flow, it emitted an event, it emitted an event, a method execution started. We captured that in our listener, and then we can do whatever we want with that information. In this case, I'm printing this information out. And then 
over here, oops, over here in the main Python file, we end up in the actual function we're printing out generate sentence count, which I do right here. Now let's go down to when we're actually creating or we're executing the crew. Now there is a listener for that, and that is called crew kickoff started event. So we'll have at some point, whenever we get to that function, it'll say crew, and then the name of the crew has started execution. Well, if we come in, come down through here, we can see, oh, here we have a crew execution started. Well, then the crew, the name of the crew is just crew, has started execution. And this is great because we're actually starting it here. We have the poem writer. And then we have the, the poem writer right here, the final answer, meaning they have completed the task. Well, we had another event that once the task was completed, it we would capture that and then we would print out another statement. So we're actually printing out the output plus letting us know that the agent's task has completed. And then this is, or the agent, I apologize. Right here, the task is completed. This is when, this is the agent has completed. There, there's, there are a few things. There's an agent execution completed and then a task completed event. So this is the agent, uh, this is an incorrect output, has com completed, has completed the task, but the task is actually completed now. So it first saying the agent has ex execution has completed and then the task has completed and created the output here. And we know that by right here, there is a summary property. So we have the raw, the summary, and you can have pydantic and JSON dictionary. This is the agent tied to it. Like what, what's happening here is that for each, for each of the functions, we're getting a source and event. And then each of the source and event, they're giving us some information into what's happening. And then this is where we can take that information. We can automate side tasks. We can log, we can monitor, we can do a lot of different things. And then finally, when the flow is finished, we say the flow and the name of the flow, which is poem flow in this point has finished. And here is the printout saying the flow is finished. And this is the object of that event for whenever the flow is finished. Now back in their documentation, like I said, there are a lot of event types. We have crew events. These are for kicking off, testing and training crews. We have the agent events for starting, completion and airing. And then we also have task events for similar things, tool usage, knowledge events, and then also uh, for the flow and for LLM calls. Now the source, this is the object being emitted from the event. And this is the instance and the event is the instance containing event specific data. So source and event, if we come back to the code, what we've done here in each of these functions here, we're, we, we're getting that source and the event and then we can do something with that. Now, why is all this important? Well, all this is important because we need to understand, really know what our AI agents are doing, whether they're being successful or whether they're failing, because if they're successful, but let's say your token usage is sky high, and then we don't really know why. Well, during certain points of all the agent executions, all the tool usage, we can see what's happening in each of those events and figure out what's going on. And especially if something fails, you know, we want to know did it fail successfully or was it a true failure? Like, do we expect certain conditions that may act as failures or is it just really failing? Maybe, there's data, maybe a database connection doesn't exist anymore or at that moment in time, you know, there could be a number of things or maybe you uh, don't have your OpenAI funded account. So it's, you know, it's saying that you need to add more to your billing. You know, there, I don't know what it is, there could be a lot of different things, but this is way we can monitor them. We have, I mean, there's software such as agent ops, uh, Langtrace, you know, uh, Phoenix, uh, Azure has theirs, I believe. There's all these different ways to trace and monitor and debug your agents for a reason, because it's good to know. You don't want to just run these and not really know what's happening, especially the more complicated get, they get, or the more you let them handle, you know, what's happening. You really want to understand what's going on. It's very important to know. And if you weren't sure, this is actually how they integrate, do, use this with agent ops. As you can see here, they have events, they have their listener and they have events and they have their, they have their class with the base event listener and they have the setup listeners. And then they have separate events for each of them that once something happens, so whenever crew uh, kicks off, they are going to initiate agent ops. Uh, they're going to initiate an agent ops session. Whenever uh, kickoff is completed, they're going to end it. 
uh, whenever a whenever something happens with a tool, we're going to understand what's going on, and if there's a tool usage error. So all these things really help to you know understand what our agents are doing, and I really can't emphasize enough how monitoring and evaluating your agents is really important. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you learned something here. I'll have this code in my GitHub again. Now, if you would like to learn more. Join my school community below. I have been helping people with one-on-one -on -one coaching that you can sign up for and also have a link for a strategy call that if you're a business or you're trying to start an AI service or you want to automate something that you are trying to sell, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Please let me know how I can help. I would love to help you out. Again, all the links for everything here will be in the description below. Let me know your thoughts. Here are some more videos for you to watch in the meantime, and I will see you next video.